I'm Dr. Keith Lonergan, uh, originally from Connecticut. I've been at Stedman Hawkins here for three years. Um, currently, I'm stationed in, uh, at the uh, Greer office and I'm a managing partner out there. I think for me, I've always wanted to, to do orthopedic surgery. There really was no other part of medicine that I truly wanted to focus entirely towards. I was always involved in sports. Um, I've always loved to work with my hands. I've always enjoyed anatomy, uh, and it was just a natural progression. I've been truly blessed with my training. There is no way that I would ever trade the course of my education for anything. I was um, involved very early with uh, extensive exposure to many, many things in orthopedics. I had excellent mentors. Um, my, my training began in the military where we had the best uh, teachers, educators, the opportunities for uh, expanding our horizons and making sure that we had the skill sets and the patient follow-up that's needed. So for five years I was in the Army uh, as a uh, training in the, as a resident. Uh, during that time I actually had a chance to become a flight surgeon. I uh, went out to Korea uh, where I was a flight surgeon general medical officer. Uh, I had a chance to do a lot of medicine but also had a chance to fly helicopters and take care of uh, some different types of injuries. I did a two-year fellowship. The first year was in San Antonio, Texas, uh, where I was heavily involved in sports and trauma research. I also did uh, a tremendous amount of uh, clinical medicine, where I did uh, many, many surgeries. After uh, the first year of my fellowship, I did another year of fellowship at West Point at the U.S. Uh, Military Academy in New York. During that tenure, I was uh, one of the team physicians uh, for West Point and I conducted uh, many many training rooms as well as taking care of essentially every student is an athlete. Uh, after the two years of fellowship I was assigned as the uh, Southeast Regional Consultant for Sports Medicine for the Army where I was stationed at Eisenhower Army Medical Center in Augusta, Georgia. Um, at that time, I was the uh, Chief of Sports Medicine and Shoulder Service for five years, where I was, uh, once again, I was teaching uh, the younger residents. After, at the very end of my Army tenure, which was 13 years, uh, I actually was privileged to go to Iraq, uh, to Baghdad, where I was the uh, Assistant Chief of Surgery and the Chief of, of Orthopedics for the uh, major trauma center in Iraq. So during that time uh, I was exposed to uh, many things that uh, you, don't, you do not routinely see in the civilian world. After, after being uh, in Iraq uh, and completing my, ar my army obligation, um, I joined Stedman Hawkins. The, the types of surgeries that I primarily perform uh, our shoulder and knee reconstructive surgeries. I perform a lot of arthroscopy. Uh, being sports medicine trained, we've been able to develop more minimally invasive techniques. So a lot of the surgeries that were performed through larger incisions uh, or open techniques, now we can do through small incisions. The, um, of all the surgeries I do, I primarily focus certainly on the shoulder and knee, uh, but I honestly do uh, a lot of elbows and ankles as well, but uh, one of my other primary focuses is on fracture management and trauma. Patients should expect a lot from their surgeons. Um, the, um, a surgeon uh, is someone who you make uh, a small marriage with, <laughs> if there's such a thing. You need to develop a relationship with that person. Um, the patient-doctor relationship is always important. But when you are responsible for taking somebody to surgery and potentially affecting their life the way we do every day, um, you expect the best. 
You expect honesty. You expect um, skillful uh, art of medicine. And this is, there is no option. It has to be the best that you can provide. I'm committed to what I do. Um, I love what I do. I've been doing it for a long time. And since I can focus on uh, sports medicine, arthroscopy, shoulder and knee reconstruction, I do it every day. Um, I continue to explore the, the, the latest techniques um, through the literature, through training. Um, and with that, I've, I've gained a lot of experience. I have a lot of passions in life. Um, first and foremost is my family. Um, they are the most important thing to me. Uh, when you know I come out of the office and it's been a busy day and uh, it's, it's time to go home, um, that's when I have another hat I put on. Uh, dad, husband, uh, you know, plumber, electrician, whatever it may be. Uh, so it's, uh, they may not know that about me. You know, they may see me as just the surgeon. But uh, I love to spend time with my family. Um, so I have uh, three children. I have two boys uh, and a little girl. Um, my wife and I got married uh, in Hawaii, where, where we met uh, during my residency. So um, I have a lot of passions. I uh, love to uh, fitness. I love golf. Uh, I've started to play a lot of tennis. Um, love to go to the gym. Just love being outside. 